friends. But this hat, it gives me, it gives me power in a way. You know, my dad and my mom separated, so I didn't have a lot of male energy in my home. And also, uh, I'm married to a family that, um, you know, <laughs> not a lot of male energy going on. It's beautiful, though. But there's times where, you know, it's something about, you know, I love Hillary. I love everyone, right? But the campaign, I'm with her, just didn't make me feel as a guy that didn't get to see my dad all the time, like a guy that could play catch with his son. It was something about when I put this hat on, it made me feel like Superman. You made a Superman, that was, that's my favorite superhero. And you made a Superman cake for me also as a guy that looks up to you, looks up to Rap Lauren, looks up to American industry guys. Non-political, no bullshit, put the beep on it, however you want to do it, five seconds delay, and just goes in and gets it done. Right now, you gave me the heart to go to Adidas because at Adidas, when I went in in 2015, we were a $14 billion company losing $2 billion a year. Now we have a $38 billion market cap. It's called the Yeezy effect. And I went to Casper, we had a meeting in Chicago, and I said, you have to bring manufacturing on shore, in, not even shore, into the core. It's not about the borders, the core of Adidas. And Chicago is the core of middle America. We have to make middle America strong. So I had the balls, because I had enough balls to put on this hat. I, I mean, this Adidas thing made me a billionaire. And I could have lost $200 million walking away from that deal. But even with that, 